Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm going to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a quick little video review, just giving my thoughts on the recent trailer for Superman the Man of Steel, hitting this year pretty soon. It's going to be a couple months, uh, we should see it. Uh, so it should be a pretty good movie. Um, had three trailers at this point. This trailer includes most of what we've seen already. You know, we're getting to see that uh, sort of a little bit of the, the the whole origin of Superman as part of the movie and him sort of being lost and not having a sense of direction, hitchhiking, you know, doing random acts of saving people, the, the bus with the kids. Uh, we get to see uh, Kevin Costner as, uh, as Pa Kent and he's telling him he is his son, which is a new clip, which is a pretty cool clip. Uh, and of course you have Russell Crowe as Jor-El. We're getting to see a couple scenes with him, at least with his his costume on, which looks pretty neat. Uh, I like the designs of all the costumes in the movie. They really look cool. Um, they're kind of like a cross between like alien suits and like um, medieval armor, you know, uh, especially if you look at Zod's armor. We do get to see Zod, of course, uh, in that uh, my little reenactment at the beginning of the video here. Um, it, in the clip, it's just really weird the way he says he's like, I will find him! You know, it's just, it, I don't know. Is it overacting? I mean, I guess it's it's so overacting that it's kind of like cheesy to see. But again, we're seeing it out of context. Maybe out of context. Maybe he's just like this this evil rage monster guy that just is yelling all the time and stuff. Uh, it's definitely different from the old Zod, the old Superman movies, where he's always you know kneel before Zod. He's always calm and stuff. You know? all proper and stuff. So, I mean, it looks okay. Uh, his armor is really cool. Uh, it, it looks to me like a cross between, like, um, like a swordsman. Like, for example, I think a berserk guts the black swordsman with his berserker armor, if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, uh, kind of like um, from World of Warcraft, you have the Death Knights, you have Arthas, the Death Knight. He's got his black armor and stuff on. It's really bulky and everything. And H.R. Geiger's Alien artwork, you know, uh, or not, I shouldn't say just say artwork, but designs, you know, you have the engineer suit, you have the aliens in the black and the way they look. Zod, to me, his armor looks a lot like that, which is pretty cool. There's actually some action figures where you can see the whole costume, and it's even got a helmet part that we haven't seen yet in the trailers or anything. Um, Play Arts Kai General Zod figure, Google it, you'll see it. There's pictures, and it's got like a space helmet that comes down, a lot like the engineers, um, although he doesn't look like an albino underneath, uh, and he has hair, but a lot like the engineers from Prometheus, Alien, Aliens, all those uh, those types of, uh, that whole series and, and everything. So I do like it, cross between that kind of style and, uh, you know, like uh, medieval uh, armor type style, Arthas, for, I think of Arthas from World of Warcraft or Warcraft 3, the Death Knight. Um, so that's cool. I like his suit. Uh, Henry Cavill, assuming maybe we get to see some more angles of him and things like that. And his suit looks really cool, too. You know, you have the, uh, the we find out that the S stands for hope on his planet and everything like that, uh, which I think was established before in the comic books. But I'm not a big reader of Superman comics. I don't go through. I'm wearing Action Comics number one, uh, the original, you know, issue with Superman in it. There it is right here. Um... But I'm not, a, you know, a huge fan of Superman. I think of him as like one of those heroes that he has too many, too many superpowers, and they over the years have kind of lost to the sense of identity and what to do with him. But nevertheless, Henry Cavill looks like he's going to make a pretty good Superman. I mean, nobody is ever going to be able to compare to Christopher Reeve. I mean, when a lot of people think of Superman, they think of Christopher Reeve. Um, but he's got, you know, he's got the square jaw thing going, which is like, you know, you know, the, that helps a lot when you're when you're playing a character like that that has to be stoic and. You know, all those things, if you have that uh, facial structure, square jaw. Uh, and he's got that. Um, he's pretty He's pretty big, which works, too, because he looks like he could kick ass, which works. And uh, he does look a lot like Superman. You know, he's got the black hair and everything. It matches pretty much perfectly. I think he was a great casting choice as Superman. I think he'll be basically perfect. Not that Brandon Ruth uh, was bad or anything, but uh, they really need to fix Superman. I mean, they really need to fix him. So hopefully uh, this movie turns out good and we get to see maybe a sequel or something like that. I like the fact that Lex Luthor is not going to be a focus here. It's not that I don't like Lex Luthor. He's a great character, but he's been done too much. And, uh, you know, Kevin Spacey, great actor and everything, was given shit to do in that movie. Bad plot, bad writing and everything uh, in Superman Returns. Leave Lex out of this for a little while. You can bring him in if you're going to do a sequel or, you know, uh, a couple movies or whatever. Want to see Doomsday? 
Definitely Zod is a cool villain. Somebody that Superman can throw down with and just smash around and, you know, have some big fights. And at the end, we get to see a, a right hook, flying right hook in CG of Superman hitting Zod. Which, uh, I think it's Zod. Which, um, I mean, you know, the CG, you guys know how I feel about CG if you watch my videos for a while. I'm not a fan of CG. Don't like it generally. But I don't know how you're going to do a Superman movie without a lot of CG. I mean, it would just be... Like the, the old school movie, it would be, be really hard to do. I mean, you have to do a lot of like practical. Oh, it would just be really. I don't even know how you could do that without CG. It'd be really hard to do. Um, kind of like the older movies. But I mean, with updated action and pacing and stuff, it would just be really hard. The stunts and everything required would be insane to try to do it without a lot of CG. So it makes sense. So anyway, um, just wanted to give my quick thoughts on it. As you guys can see, yes, I did get a haircut. Um, needed one so bad, man. Hair was so long. It was just... And I've got the move and everything, so I just want to get that taken care of, get it short for the summer, nice and clean, whatever. That's cool. It's done. And uh, I want to get my thoughts on it. About three people sent me PMs asking me to do the trailer. I know I'm late to the party. Didn't do it right away, but thought I'd give my thoughts on it anyway, since the movie does look great, and I'm really excited to see it. Uh, hopefully, uh, it sets it up for, you know, maybe a couple movies and everything, and that it turns out to be a really good movie. It definitely looks that way. Uh, and hopefully, there isn't too much overacting in the movie either, especially from the villain, you know, like from Zod, you know, I, why not? It's, it's, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the movie. Uh, let's comment on it below. Let's talk about it. That's it for this video, guys. We'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.